People around the world watch about 4.95 trillion videos on YouTube every day. And while Google, YouTube's parent company, has many warehouses full of servers and crazy fast internet speeds, how does YouTube use less bandwidth to allow their 1.325 trillion users to watch videos without an issue? This is Mark from Mark with Tech, and this is the first time I've ever made a video like this, so let's get started talking about video compression and bit rates. Introducing compression, a special technique of compressing video files to a smaller file size. So how exactly does YouTube do this? Well, they use a special codec called VP9, which Google developed to re-encode your videos once you upload them to YouTube. This has many benefits. It allows users to use less data if their internet data is capped, and it allows Google to store more videos on their servers. To compress a video, the codec has to understand changes in the video stream so it can make a file size smaller. It can do this by detecting if a pixel's color has changed. If a pixel's color has changed, then the codec will save that change into a file. Otherwise, the video file will tell the video player that those pixel's colors are going to stay the same, therefore using less data. For example, if you were to record a video of your screen and nothing on the screen was changing at all, the file size would be very small because none of the pixels on the screen are changing. But if you were to record a game or something where basically all of the pixels are changing every second, the codec has to write each color per pixel that changed to the file, resulting in a higher file size. What if you didn't want some huge file? That's where bitrate comes into play. If you were to set the bitrate at 10 megabits per second, then the video will be capped at that file size per second and cannot exceed by very much. Keep in mind, the amount of pixels are determined by the resolution of the video. So 1920 by 1080 will have 2,073,600 pixels. If you were to set the bitrate too low and many pixels are changing at a given time, then those blocky artifacts will begin to show and the codec will begin to anti-alias, or take in an average of a bunch of pixels colors in that general area to smooth out the missing data, to save space or use less bandwidth to meet the quota. Say you have a 1080p video at 60fps with a bitrate of 25 megabits per second. YouTube will need to recompress that video using a bitrate of around 15 megabits per second, as that's YouTube's standards. This is so if there were hundreds of viewers watching your video per second, instead of Google putting out 25 megabits per second per person, they'd only be putting out 15 megabits per second, or about 40% less bandwidth being used on both the client and server's end. Doing this comes at a cost though, meaning your video quality may degrade quite a bit and start introducing those blocky artifacts whenever the pixels colors change. If there's a video that you'd like me to make, or if you have a computer question of any kind, please start a discussion on the forum markwithtech.com. Make sure you subscribe or follow me on vid.me. Like the video if you liked it, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.